right, we are on the cusp of a beautiful Friday. Yeah, and I feel like that's the best time for yeah. gorgeous weather is heading totally. into the weekend. But mm -hmm. also, though, I will say, I can't stand when there's a really nasty, disgusting Monday. True. So, <laughs> I, I don't brutal. know. I don't know. Like, w would you rather have nice weekend, nasty Monday, or yeah. nasty weekend, nice Monday? Mm. No, the brutal Monday is preferred, I think. Okay. I, nice feel, weekend. I feel like that's also kind of valid, because then, like, you're... It's valid for you to kind of like mope around on Monday, you know? Totally. So I, I, I kind of get that. I kind of get that. But yeah, nothing like a gorgeous weekend. We do have that coming up to look forward to. Unfortunately, still not going to be seeing much in terms of precipitation. So if you are somebody that is needing that, not going to really be getting it this weekend. But if you're spending time outside, kind of soaking up uh, those last couple days of those warm temperatures. It'll be awesome for that and we'll have some decent sunshine to go with those temperatures. Today out there we were in the low 70s. We are about 10 degrees warmer than what we would normally be seeing this time of year. We hit 71 for that high in Mankato today. St. Peter, Blue Earth, Fairmont also at 71. 72 was that high in New Ulm, Glencoe and then just a little warmer Hutchinson and Olivia both at 73. We did have a red flag running in effect today, but we're not necessarily going to be seeing that as we go into the next couple of days. However, though, we are still seeing all of these ingredients in place. So even though we don't necessarily have that red flag warning, maybe not necessarily any burn bans, it might be a good idea to just still avoid burning things, especially if you don't have to this weekend because all of those ingredients are still in place for fires to start and spread pretty easily. So keep that in mind this weekend, um, especially tomorrow as we continue with these breezy conditions. Winds, like I mentioned, breezy again tomorrow, not quite as intense as what we saw today. However, though, we can still see those wind gusts, especially closer to around lunchtime, close to that 30 mile per hour mark and a lot of our counties further towards the west likely going to be a little more than that too. For the next couple of days, those temperatures remain in the 70s. 75 is that high for tomorrow. It'll be gorgeous out there. Still a bit breezy, but then as we go into the weekend, we will get a bit of a break from all of that wind. By next week, we will start to cool off again and then another drop down associated with the cold front to those more fall like temperatures. Like I mentioned, little to no rainfall. We could see a few isolated showers here and there this weekend, but I'm not really feeling too confident about widespread or impactful rain for most of us. But just keep that in mind. You might see a little bit of something tonight. 51 clear and windy out there. Winds continue out of the south. Still going to be a bit gusty, but not as much as what we had today. And then tomorrow, of course, 75, mostly sunny and warm, and that breeze continues. Again, those fire weather conditions lingering into tomorrow. Even though we don't have a red flag warning in place, might be a good idea to still be careful with fire or maybe avoid burning if you don't need to. So we don't, nobody wants to be the person that starts or spreads a fire around the area, but it'll be a gorgeous weekend. So we have that to look forward to. All right, in October yet. Yeah. All right, thanks Emily. We'll be right back. The 10 day forecast is brought to you by Latina Siding Wind.